Pastor Julian here with Central's devotion for today. Philosophy. Philosophy is a fancy word uh, that really just means a system of thought that you have in how you perceive reality and the world around you and how you interact with that world. What drives you to action, to do things, to not do things, to form opinions? Philosophy can be very dangerous, and it can be very good. Everybody has a philosophy of life that they live by. Some people have even more than one philosophy that they follow. But you do have a philosophy that you follow. And I'll explain that this world has many different philosophies that it wants you to buy into. Everybody wants you on their team. Everybody wants you to think like they think and behave how they behave. God warns us about that through the Apostle Paul in Colossians chapter 2, verse 8, when he says, See to it that no one takes you captive through hollow and deceptive philosophy, which depends on human tradition and the elemental spiritual forces of this world, rather than on Christ. There are competing philosophies trying to, to get you to move into action and do things right now. And there have been in the past. There might be philosophies that you follow that are flawed, that are, as the Apostle Paul says, of this world and empty. What's at the core of of these philosophies that you are following? And are you following them without really delving in and looking at them? And you have to really delve in and look at them. And our passage gives you the measuring stick as to how you're supposed to evaluate these philosophies. Evaluate your philosophies. And that measuring stick is Christ. I'll show you another measuring stick that helps you understand that. It's right here. This is my measuring stick. I'll tell you, whenever there's a philosophy that is presenting itself to me and it seems good, I go to the Bible I pray about it, and I think to myself, how is this philosophy furthering the kingdom of God as opposed to detracting from it? How is this philosophy sharing the love of Jesus Christ with others? How is this philosophy fitting into the mission that God has for me and for his church? And how does this philosophy fit in to how Jesus himself lived his life? So let me encourage you, as you're being pulled in many different directions all throughout the day, as to what it is that you are supposed to believe in, what's supposed to motivate you, always rely on Jesus Christ and make sure that he is firmly your foundation, because he is the one who decides what is good and what is bad. He is the ultimate determining factor. He is the author. And so lean on him, not on other people, not on convincing arguments, but lean on the truth and the foundation of Jesus Christ and what he has called you to do in this world. So be on guard from all of those philosoph empty philosophies and worldly things that are trying to draw you in and away from Christ. 
God bless you. Have a great day.